Hi, I'm Janet Ferraro. Thank you for coming back to my studio. Today, what I want to discuss with you is oiling out the surface of your painting. This is a really wonderful process when you want to apply more oil paint and your painting is completely dry. So there's several things to keep in mind. First of all, you do want your surface completely dry as this painting is. You don't want it to be tacky or wet because then when you apply the oil to the surface, it might and will pull the paint off the surface. So you want the surface completely dry and you also want to apply a very tiny amount of oil. And there's several ways to do this. What I like to do is more the wipe on, wipe off method. And this will leave a beautiful, slightly oily finish, which will allow paint to glide on very smoothly and easily, as well as it will enrich the colors. And if your painting has any areas where the paint seems sunken in, such as a lot of the darks and the earth tones tend to do, then by oiling it out, it will bring the colors back to their true color, so that when you do add paint, it makes the process much easier because you're seeing the real color, the same color you'll see after you varnish the painting. You can use several kinds of oil. I like to use walnut oil. Many people like in linseed oil or safflower oil or stand oil. All of these will work. The thing to keep in mind is you only want a small amount of oil on the surface. And you can oil out just a small portion of the area where you want to paint. You don't have to oil out the entire surface. Let me show you what I mean. I pour a small amount of the walnut oil into a glass container and dip in my lint-free shop cloth and gently wipe the oil across the surface that I want to add the paint to. I then take a clean lint-free shop cloth and pull the oil back off the canvas. This will leave a very slight amount of oil on the surface, which is exactly what I want. And then as I demonstrate here, you can see how the oil paint glides very easily off my brush onto the surface. And one thing to remember is that when you apply the oil to the surface and wipe it back, it's really critical that you have a lint-free cloth. I like to use the shop towels that I buy at the hardware store. Some people like cheesecloth. Other people have told me they like using t-shirt material, but just make sure it's lint-free. The last thing you want is to use a paper towel that leaves behind particles, and that's almost impossible to get off your painting surface. So please make sure you do pay special attention to this part of the process. So I added paint to the owl. I think it definitely was a really good technique for adding the paint, having it blend smoothly into the surface. It allowed me to blend colors very easily. And now I'm going to allow my painting to dry. And once it's dry, I may oil out certain areas again and go back into the painting just for some finishing touches. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the process. Please leave a comment below and tell me how this process works for you, or maybe you have a process you like even better. We all learn from one another. So thanks again. Have a wonderful day and happy painting everyone. Bye.